Search the internet for hangover cures and there are literally hundreds of suggestions from the familiar such as vitamin C, coffee, water, to other things such as Marmite, sauerkraut and even charcoal tablets. But despite the huge public interest, there's actually been very little research into hangover remedies. Which is why perhaps everyone has their own favourite. When you get home at the end of the night, drink loads of water. Cook breakfast with fat coke. So what is the best remedy for a hangover? Well, we're going to try and answer this question once and for all. I'm meeting hangover expert Dr. Richard Stevens. He's selected two hangover remedies for us to test that apparently have more science to back them up than most. One over-the-counter supplement that can be taken before drinking, the other for the morning after. Richard, this I recognise. Good old frying up. That's right. What is this? Looks like it's got a hangover today. <laughs> so this is borage. So borage is a herb. And I've got these flowers come seeds. Here's, we've we've got some seeds here. Mm -hmm. And we extract oil from the seeds, sometimes known as uh, star flower oil. Right. And that's what we've got in these capsules here. You know, there are, there are a lot of people out there selling hangover remedies, yeah. okay? Mostly junk, in my opinion. <laughs> However, there is some research behind taking one of these capsules as a hangover remedy. Just okay? the one? Just one capsule, right. that's a standard dose. Why does this work? Okay, for the nation's favourite hangover remedy, yes. probably a good old fryer. <laughs> so there is some evidence that uh, one of the biological underlyings of a hangover is a drop in glucose. Right. So if you have one of these the next morning when you've got a hangover, that's got a lot of sugars in it. Yes, that it will does. restore those sugars. So tonight we're going to get some volunteers. We're going to be dosing them up with alcohol to a, a, a set blood alcohol level. And then we're going to see what their hangover is like in the morning and whether these... Uh, have made any difference. I know which group I'd like to be in. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be with you. <laughs> to test these two hangover remedies is going to require some serious drinking. And I thought, where better to organise a piss-up than in a brewery? This is Arkell's Brewery in Swindon. And we've invited the workforce to take part in Richard's experiment. Team Green, put the four of these armbands on, please. Thank you very much. We're first splitting up the volunteers from the workforce into three separate groups. There we go. Blue Team, you are our breakfast group. You'll be having the fry up in the morning. Good? Yeah. Yellows, you are our control group. I'm afraid you're not getting anything. Yay. Yeah? And Greens, you've guessed it, you are going to be the borage group. So you're going to get some borage before we start drinking. <laughs> Great, let's go. Whereas the fry-up is designed to replenish low glucose levels and is eaten after we have felt the effects of alcohol, borage is taken before drinking as a preventative measure. And relies on the fact that it's rich in a particular fatty acid that's an anti-inflammatory. Okay, drink away. Enjoy. Yay! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yay! According to research, around one in five of us have hangover immunity. We don't get hangovers at all. And scientists aren't sure why. Okay, time for your breathalyzers. But the average man drinking nine and a half units or shots of spirits... Well, maybe two. Ninety-six. Or the average woman drinking six units or six shots will probably achieve a blood alcohol level high enough to give them a hangover the next morning. 74. So it's hardly gone up. Hardly gone up. So I can have another double. <laughs> 104. 104. Perfect. Right where we want you. It's time for some taxis home. Richard, it's the end of the night, and I think we've achieved sort of some good high alcohol levels there, have we? We have. So we were aiming to dose our volunteers to 0.10% blood alcohol. So we gave them specific amounts of alcohol based on their body weight and if they're a man or a woman to achieve that. And we adjust a little bit as we go along. We give them a drink, we breathalyze. Yeah. Uh, I think we pretty much got there for, for everybody and got them pretty much where we wanted them to be. So we're set to have some hangovers in the morning. We should see some hangovers in the morning. <laughs> It's 7.30am. Our fry-up group have managed to make it to the breakfast table 
but as Richard predicted, they're feeling a bit worse for wear. I've got a bit of a headache, so I just need my badge. According to scientists, unless you're one of the lucky few, the dreaded hangover affects men and women, old and young, the same. So, has Borage, with its alleged preventative qualities, worked any magic? Good morning, how are you? A little bit of a headache, yeah, a um, little bit, you know, just not quite right. Knock, knock. Alex. Morning. How are you? Not bad, thanks. What group were you in last night? I was on Borage. Yeah. There's no magic way of measuring someone's hangover. This questionnaire is the best that scientists have come up with. Headache, yes. Thank you. And after the fry-up group have had their breakfast, they fill in the hangover questionnaire as well. I'm catching up with our expert, Richard Stevens, to find out the results. So, what does our demonstration show? Okay, so if we look at the control group, all six of them had a hangover, right? Okay, if we look at the fry-up group, five of the six had a hangover, one said they didn't. In the borage group, three had a hangover, and three didn't. Okay. Cheers. 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 So in the experiment, none of the volunteers in the control group escaped the hangover. In the fry-up group, after eating their breakfast, just one reported not having a hangover. And in the borage group, three volunteers felt they had no hangover. A clear winner then, surely. A clear winner. Well, I'm, I'm a scientist, <laughs> so I'm sceptical. But we were replicating a previous study which showed similar, so that's positive. And we know that borage is an anti-inflammatory, and we know that one of the ways that hangover affects us is by an inflammation response. So, okay, borage may have an effect on that mechanism, but, you know, probably no different to if you felt bad in the morning and popped an ibuprofen, it's okay. had the same effect. So I don't think there's any earth-shattering uh, effects here, but it's been an interesting demonstration. So if borage works in the way that Richard thinks it does, then it's probably still no better than the ibuprofen you might be taking anyway the next day. And it's certainly not 100% effective. So what is it then? Come on, what should we do for our hangovers? If you don't want a hangover, don't drink too much. <laughs>